The Career Change Workshop is great because you first of all are going to be with people that are all asking the same question, what should I do with the rest of my life? Um, and so you don't feel so alone and that's wonderful. You get lots of great support from those people, you get ideas from those people, um, and it, it's a great dynamic. So you get to have small group conversations with other people who are giving you ideas and helping you to network, um, helping you to think about what the options might be. So I encourage people to go to the workshop if they can, uh, if they're thinking about a career change, um, because I think that if you're just doing this by yourself, that it's really easy to get lost in the process and to feel really isolated and to kind of question, why am I doing this? Um, why can't I just suck it up and go to work every day? Before I changed careers, I had a degree in mechanical engineering uh, from an East Coast university. And I was a project manager for uh, a corporation doing uh, industrial design. I decided to change, change jobs because after about eight or nine years of, of engineering, I just decided that um, there was something missing and I couldn't figure out what it was. So I started looking into different careers to see what was interested, interesting to me and I just, just slowly evolved into a career change. Before my career change, I worked as a high school English teacher. Um, I had been doing that for about 10 years when I decided that I didn't think I could do it for the rest of my life, and I started to look to see what other options were out there for me. There were a lot of hard things about the career change. Um, for one, I had grown to, be, to feel quite confident in my career as a teacher. I had trained hard for it, I had worked hard for it, I had I had spent a lot of energy becoming a good teacher. And so to leave that behind and to feel that I was giving that up was very difficult. One of the biggest challenges was relinquishing uh, my persona as a mechanical engineer, right? to, to realize that that's separate from, from who I am. Some of the advice I would give would be to be patient and, and to really work through what it is you want to do um, because it's it's a difficult transition but it could be very worthwhile for you if you've used a career panel or a career workshop like the UW's. One of the steps I took about two-thirds of the way into my change, my career change process, was to participate in the UW Career Change Workshop. And I found that it was really useful for a few reasons. One, I was in a room with other people who were thinking about the same things I was thinking about and trying to figure out how to make a change. And two, it really gave me the time and space to assess myself. What were my interests, what were my strengths and weaknesses, and where did I want to take that? I am now, I've been working at, in higher education since I left my teaching job, so I've been doing that for about nine years. And I currently work as an advisor to graduate students. Um, I love it. I feel like it gives me a chance to have that interaction with students that I loved so much as a teacher. Um, and I get to be a thinking person, uh, working with other thinking people, helping them figure out how to be happy in their own careers and academic life. Uh, so I really, it's a very good fit for me at this, at this stage of my life. So now I am a remodeling contractor and I service residential homes in the Madison metro area and I'm, I'm my own boss, which is what I've always wanted to be. Um, I bring my mechanical engineering skill set to the job. I think I really, really enjoy what I do.